In this video, we're going to go over how to operate the Ronin-S. With the Ronin-S assembled and balanced, you can now turn it on to experience its features. First, do a short press on the battery grip to turn it on. Then hold the power button for a few seconds until the gimbal powers on. Holding the front trigger will lock the camera orientation no matter how the Ronin-S is moved. This is useful when transitioning from a high to low angle and vice versa. Double tapping the front trigger will recenter the camera. Triple tapping will turn the camera toward the back of the Ronin S. The M button switches between three customizable user profiles, storing parameters for smooth track, control, and settings. When held down, the current profile indicator will turn yellow, indicating that the Ronin S is in sport mode. In this mode, the gimbal responds very rapidly, allowing you to keep even fast moving subjects in frame. Sport mode is available regardless of which user profile you're in. The record button is available to trigger still or video recording, and half pressing will trigger auto focusing on supported camera models. By default, moving the joystick vertically controls tilt and horizontally controls pan. You can customize speed, deadband, and smoothing of the joystick within the DJI Ronin app. Even reverse the direction or remap it to a different axis if necessary. The Ronin S has three modes of operation upright, flashlight, and underslung. To transition into flashlight mode, press and hold the front trigger button and tilt the Ronin S flat. To go into underslung mode quickly, hold the front trigger and tilt the Ronin S upside down. Alternatively, pause the motors by double tapping the power button, hold the Ronin S upside down, rotate the roll axis to ensure the camera is in the upright position. Then, double tap the power button to re-engage the motor. This method gives you maximum freedom of movement.